Welcome back to TCM. I'm Dave Carger. Up next, our Saturday afternoon continues with an espionage thriller from MGM in 1968, starring Rock Hudson and Ernest Borgnine. It's Ice Station Zebra. The story begins when a top secret Soviet satellite falls to Earth somewhere near the North Pole. The U.S. desperately wants the information in the satellite and sends a nuclear submarine under the polar ice cap to retrieve it. But when the sub's mission is repeatedly sabotaged, everybody on board falls under suspicion. The movie was based on a best-selling novel by Alistair MacLean, a wildly popular Scottish novelist whose work lent particularly well to the big screen. More than a dozen of his stories were adapted as films, including wartime thrillers like The Guns of Navarone and Where Eagles Dare. The intensity of the drama in Ice Station Zebra was enhanced by the fact that the movie was filmed in Super Panavision and presented in 70mm Cinerama in theaters, giving it a much larger picture than usual. It premiered in 1968 at the Cinerama Dome on Sunset Boulevard in Hollywood, and the premiere was attended by members of the United States Navy, which had cooperated with the production. From 1968, directed by John Sturgis and nominated for Academy Awards for Best Cinematography and Special Visual Effects, here is Ice Station Zebra. <laughs> 